consumers' willingness to spend is for the first time in over a decade starting to buckle. Global macroeconomic issues, geopolitical issues, inflation, interest rates, you know, loan repayments. I mean, we've got that sort of pile up wears on the consumer and makes them wary. Americans are about to hit a breaking point, according to Walmart CEO. Soaring prices are severely impacting consumer spending habits, and the world's biggest retailer is worried about how this trend is going to affect its bottom line this fall and winter. Bill Simon, the head of U.S. operations for four years, revealed that for the first time in a decade, the company is seeing a significant slowdown in sales activity as consumers start to buckle. Overall, I think for the first time in a long time, there's a reason for the consumer to pause, he said. Consumption is the biggest driver of economic growth, but new data points to trouble ahead as most households in the country are spending less and feeling more stressed about their finances. Simon believes the U.S. consumer is on the verge of folding due to an accumulation of pressures exacerbating people's money issues. During an interview with CNBC earlier this week, the executive pointed to a series of factors working together to squeeze Americans' purchasing power and forcing them to tighten their budgets even further. Those include inflation, high interest rates, and rising political tensions around the nation and the globe. That sort of pileup wears on the consumer and makes them wary, he noted. Given that consumer spending accounts for over two-thirds, or roughly 72% of gross domestic product, the deceleration is likely to deepen the downturn that we're already facing. Simon, who now serves on the board of directors for Darden Restaurants and Hannes Brands, also highlighted that after a long period of cheap money cut short by the Federal Reserve's rapid rate hikes this year, Americans seemingly lost their financial strength. If they keep digging deeper into their cash, their savings, and their credit, eventually they will hit a breaking point, the executive stressed. Many experts believe that the breaking point has already arrived. With interest rates shooting up, money has become more expensive to borrow, and banks are tightening their standards, meaning that credit is getting harder to get. And despite all the rate hikes so far, inflation remains uncomfortably high for the majority of U.S. households. On Thursday, the government released the latest inflation report, showing that the consumer price index rose 3.7% in September. Mark Hamrick, senior economic analyst at Bankrate, noted in a recent statement that even though inflation has fallen from its recent peak, it's still causing affordability issues for Americans. For consumers trying to manage their personal finances amid inflation, the situation with prices is a bit like battling illness. Being past the worst of it isn't the same as feeling better or robust, he emphasized. This month, the return of student loan payments for as many as 44 million borrowers will continue to make shoppers avoid non-essential purchases and to tighten their belts to afford payments. Official data reveals that the average student loan payment is between $200 and $300 monthly, and that loss of purchasing power will be felt by U.S. businesses in the form of lower sales in the months ahead. Moreover, Simon cited the upcoming U.S. election as another source of uncertainty for consumers, especially after the government's failure to pass a budget or even elect a new Speaker of the House. According to the conference board, Americans' expectations about the economic outlook over the next six months dropped below the recession threshold of 80, reflecting waning confidence about business conditions, job availability, and earnings. Write-in responses showed that consumers continue to be preoccupied with rising prices in general and for groceries and gasoline in particular. Consumers also express concerns about the political situation and high interest rates, Dana Peterson, chief economist at the conference board, said in a statement. That's why Simon says that shoppers are on the high alert right now. Likewise, 
Economists at Interactive Brokers have predicted that the consumer recession is about to intensify. Consumer sentiment has also been weakening during the last three months, signaling that consumers may be nearing the end of their shopping spree, wrote Jose Torres, the company's senior economist. The former Walmart chief executive also warned that discounts and bargains will become harder to find in the coming weeks and months. Simon said that promotions won't be nearly as good as they were in the past. He also exposed that not only Walmart but many other major retailers are using an old trick to hide the true value of discounts from consumers. He said, they usually say a 50-inch TV is $199, and now they say 50-inch TV is 40% off. You use percentages when you're not really proud of your price point. He continues to say, I think you've got inflation pushing the relative price points up. The industry insider explained that percentage discounts don't tell you much if you don't know the original price. When companies are advertising deals by using up to X percent language, they're trying to attract consumers and make them think they're getting a cheaper product without actually knowing the original base price. In the data analytics world, there's an old saying that goes, a big percentage of nothing is still nothing. The same logic applies in such cases as a percentage discount doesn't mean shoppers are getting a good deal if the original price was greatly inflated in the first place. On top of that, brands are also using shrinkflation by reducing the amount of product in the packaging while keeping the same price. Although some consumers may fall for the trick a few times, eventually they notice the change and realize they're spending more money, so they tend to pull back. A problem Walmart customers in particular have been complaining about recently is price changes at self-checkout stores. In fact, the U.S. Sun exposed a new scam that's stressing the retailer's shoppers. According to the outlet, an anonymous Walmart shopper shared that they visited their local store's self-checkout kiosks to ring up their purchase. However, the shopper's friend noticed that some of the items in their basket were coming up much pricier than they should have been. After they double-checked the receipt, they found a charge for $20, and neither of the two knew where it came from. On the receipt, the item description simply reads, Debit Load. They also both found a $4.94 charge that simply read Visa. After the duo spoke with Walmart's customer service booth to ask about the charges, this is when the employees reportedly told them that a new scam was going around. The scam works when someone begins the process of purchasing a prepaid Visa card and leaves the kiosk without completing the transaction, the US Sun reported adding, the scammer waits for someone to begin checking out at the kiosk after they left, and hopes they'll be unaware of the unpaid card already in the system. In such cases, the customer isn't reimbursed by the retailer, and that is sparking a wave of criticism on social media. Walmart customers are also outraged about recent price increases. A new viral TikTok exposing how much prices at Walmart stores have climbed is leaving superfans particularly frustrated. TikTok creator at Kurt Dog recently racked up 3.7 million views on a video where he compared a 2020 receipt and a recent receipt with the exact same items. The most shocking finding was even Walmart's house brand, Great Value, has shot up in price over the past three years. The comparison showed that the great value, thin-sliced, misquite smoked turkey breast family pack cost $3.14 in 2020 versus $6.72 right now. That is more than double the price. A 24-pack of great value buttermilk waffles has gone up from $2.93 in 2020 to $4.14 in 2023. While Great Value Vienna Sausages have increased from $0.43 cents per can to $0.77, cents, according to the receipts. 
These are just a few of the examples highlighted by the TikToker to illustrate how expensive it has become to shop at Walmart since the start of the decade. Inflation is real, the user lamented. Thousands of other angry shoppers shared their experiences in the comments section and expressed their disapproval of Walmart's current prices. I looked back on a pickup order from August 2020 compared to today, and it went up $70, 41% increase for the whole order, the shopper revealed. It's sad and it's funny. I've doubled my income between 2013 and 2023, yet I'm struggling more now than I was back then, another shared. Some even accused Walmart of price gouging and encouraged shoppers to defect to rival grocers like Aldi and Costco in order to get better savings. A few months back, another Walmart customer made a viral TikTok video that questioned the retailer's sudden price hikes. Video creator Nikki Adams posted a clip, claimed that she purchased the 60-count Great Value Large White Eggs from her local Walmart for $10.56 one month prior. As she showed in the video, the same product's new price went up to $20.22. Adams wrote in her caption, at what point is it considered price gouging? In the span of a couple of months, the eggs doubled in price. For its part, Walmart denies price gouging allegations and says it's committed to keeping prices low for its customers. But what people are seeing at stores is a very different story. Unfortunately, as consumer prices continue to reach new highs, spending levels are expected to continue to decline even as we approach the all-important holiday season. A new survey conducted by CNBC Morning Consult found that 92% of U.S. adults have cut back on spending over the past six months. This already resulted in a contraction in the grocery market for two months in a row. In August, online grocery sales fell by 7%. In September, sales dropped by 3.1%, according to the Mercatus Grocery Shopping Survey. There is some real concern about weakness in the consumer, Sarah Hunt, a partner at Alpine Saxon Woods, told Bloomberg last week. There's a real spending issue coming up, and I think that's going to impact earnings. Walmart is already trying to prepare shareholders for an earnings miss this quarter. Even though people are spending more, they're buying less. And this is driving sales volumes down and hurting the mega retailer's bottom line. Walmart executives seem so desperate to conceal the results that last week they released a note saying that weight loss medications such as Ozempic are leading consumers to buy less food and that is eating at the retail giant's food profit margins. The company said it analyzed anonymous data of the customers who are buying the medicines at their stores, plus what the individuals spend on groceries, and it found that they are consuming increasingly less with each passing month. But while only 14% of Americans use Ozempic, nearly 60% said they're struggling to afford groceries due to higher prices, a new report by Attest showed. Similarly, the USDA reported that the typical American is spending 71% more on their weekly groceries than they did last year, even if they're thrifty. In 2022, adults aged 20 to 50 spent an average of $325 per person on groceries every month. As of September 2023, U.S. individuals spent on average $426 a month, and they are expected to spend $511 for the rest of the year. The situation is getting so extreme that more and more people are losing hope that things will ever get better. A national survey by the Suffolk University Soya Business School, in partnership with USA Today, asked respondents to summarize in a word the state of the economy today. Nearly three in four, 72%, use words like horrible, terrible, awful, bad, poor, weak, sad, dismal, crashing, struggling, disastrous, shambles, chaotic, 
messy, confusing, unequal, expansive, inflation, unstable, volatile, unpredictable, anxiety, worried and scary. The people surveyed come from a wide range of demographics, including people at all income levels, and the results were dire. About 70% say the economy is getting worse. 84% say their costs are rising. And when it comes to incomes, U.S. households making under $50,000 and over $100,000 are all reporting greater financial challenges this year. In essence, they are on an unsustainable path of losing savings and increasing debt. And with the cost of essentials shooting up all across the nation, it's easy to understand why the U.S. consumer is starting to break. <laughs>